Thanks for your support as a channel member, Big Chungus! The first half of Season 1 with AHGP has only whet the appetite, and we're heading to Budapest, and we're hungry for more. <laughs> So here's the championship standings as we are midway through the season. We are bottom of the leaderboard, uh, exactly equal with Williams, Alpine, Haas and Sauber. If you said that to me at the start of the season, that would be pretty useful. Um, I'd take that, <laughs> but obviously we're all locked on zero points. I believe that if we want to get ahead of Sauber, we need to finish oh, uh, previous results. So Bottas has got a P15. He got a P12, P13 somewhere, which might have been... It wasn't Miami because he retired from there. Was it Imola? Yeah, 13th in Imola. We need to pick up a P12 and then we can move up a space. Fred Vesti's actually happy for once. He doesn't like me. He hates me, although he's happy with the facility upgrades that we've started. He's happy with the performances that are coming in. And he's happy with how he is doing generally. Facility-wise, we're upgrading the factory. Uh, we are 60 days left on that being completed. We're upgrading the weather center. And uh, we've upgraded a few bits and pieces. We have no memorabilia to present to anybody. So we won't worry about that. Right, we are at 17th rank on the grid for car one. And 18th for Baruti. So we could be okay at the Hungara ring. We shouldn't be disastrously bad right targets i'm gonna go with 18th or higher for fred on the basis that he's not going to crash i'm gonna go 20th or higher for baruti on the basis that we're better than sauber let's do the hungara ring hopefully nobody else gets in our way uh for Stappen, just about gets out of the way of baruti it's 15-7 from fred vesti to start with and what does baruti deliver he delivers a 15.9-ish, I think, or maybe that's a 16. It's a 16 flat. Yes, yeah, so he's not actually that far off of Fred Vesti, to be fair. Yeah, he's doing doing all right. We just need to confirm our place in Q2 here. That's all we need to do. We're not improving in the first sectors, though. That's annoying. And Vesti, not personal best. No, we're not improving. Why aren't we improving? I specifically requested it. <laughs> but are, are we going to be okay? So Fred doesn't improve. What waste of tyres that was. Uh, Sergeant not improving. Can we get rid of the team radio, please, so I can see the standings? Right, Hulkenberg's improving, Gasly's improving. But we need three drivers to improve. Here comes Gasly, across the line. Are we ahead of him? Yes, we are. Hulkenberg. Chased by Lewis Hamilton. Surely he's not going to oust us from here. He goes 20th. We've got both cars into Q2 in Budapest. Brilliant. Come on. Right, Baruti did not do a good lap there. Vesti much quicker than him on the used tyres. I mean, is there... I mean, we might just... We might beat Ocon if we do a good lap. I think we should do... We should use these tyres. We, we don't want to use... The mediums. We, got, we want two sets of mediums and a set of hards for the race. So, that's... Oh, hello! Lewis Hamilton has crashed out of qualifying. And he has absolutely made a mess of that Mercedes. Frightening stuff for the Mercedes mechanics. Right, so we will at least out qualify Lewis Hamilton. Because he didn't do a lap. Right, let's follow our one and only proper lap in Q2 this weekend. Fresh tyres, we should improve 
in all sectors, really, because the used tyres would have been so bad. Bro, why? This is why you do the double run, because the second lap gets the tyres up to temperature. Well, the Baruti's improved. He's not, but he's still three tenths slower than Vesti, who improves in the middle sector. We will at least be ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Ocon is not improving either. Can we get ahead of the Alpine? Vesti goes 13th. Baruti stays 15th, but did improve his lap time. What about Ocon? Uh, he's finished. He's done. We've, qualified, we've actually legitimately qualified 13th for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Outstanding. We're both eliminated, but it doesn't matter. We've got further than any of us expected. So it's going to start as wet, and then it's going to drop to into then... Oh, it's going to be one of those races. Ah, so we're going to need some laps on the wet, and then we're going to need to get in for the Inters. We'll just start on wets. We're massively underfueled. Hopefully that's going to give us some pace. Ignore this. We're just starting on wets and we're going to make it up as we go along. I hope. I really hope so. I'm just going to just going to make sure. Oh, if we hit the right buttons, it should be fine. There we go. Okay, let's do a Hungarian Grand Prix. Let's go to the Magyar Nagadij. Here we go then. The rain is falling. Hopefully, we will be getting some points today if there's a wild enough race. The lights are out. The race is on. It's not a good start for Fred Vesti. Oh, wait. Oh, Ocon's on Inter. So is Bottas. So it's wet, it's wet at the moment. So they are going to struggle to begin with. We're holding off Vesti. Baruti's lost a place to Hamilton. Totally expected. But we are away and running. And immediately the track is drying for Inters. Oh, maybe we should have started on Inters. But at least we're, we're in the pack. Baruti has fallen behind Sargent. That's concerning. We're, we're lightly fueled as well. We should be going faster. Right. Let's keep an eye on this dampness. If it keeps drying... Oh, no, it's going back up again. But it is going to start drying around lap five. So I think we're going to need to come in around lap four. Track's changed to wet, but it's about to... It's about to go back to damp. So I'm going to make a bold decision here. I'm going to bring Baruti Nueke into the pit lane for some intermediates. This is... I mean, we're 17th. It makes absolutely no difference whether we finish 17th or 22nd. I mean, sponsor targets, of course, but we are taking a risk. Bottas hasn't really gone forward, but it's worth it for us. We're splitting strategy. It's fine. Vesti is now behind... Hamilton under pressure from Sargent. Probably pick up the pace a touch more. But with three minutes away from some more, what's well, so the rain lightening up? So let's see how we go. Right, the weather is drying up, so I'm going to bring Vesti in. No one else has gone in, so they're staying out on their wets. They're probably going to try and look after them to the point of the rain intensifying again but we could make up a lot of time here by being on the right tire the golden rule is always be on the right tire at the right time right now intermediates will be the right tire for the next sort of 10 laps or so we've got ahead of Valtteri Bartas it's taken a few laps but we've shown our car dominance on the south oh nice move around the outside Fantastic stuff. Great stuff there from Fred Vesti. Baruti has also got past Zhou Guan Yu. And now we can show our true pace. So let's get the lap times up. We did a 33-3 with Fred. And Hulkenberg ahead of us did a 33-8. So we, we are faster than those ahead of us. 
although the leaders on wet are doing one minute thirties and the heavy rain is about to return so we we might have uh, balls this strategy up we haven't made the progress I was hoping for but we can put relatively fresh wets back on that will be our advantage won't the wets overheat and degrade they do yeah but I think the, the AI are looking after them although that's not look at Leclerc 49% They've only got two sets of wets to get through this race. They're going to struggle, really going to struggle. Vesti moves up to 18th. So we are we are fast right now. We've caught the pack. And Fred is now going to start mincing his way through them all. Baruti's not far behind. Lap time wise, oh, we are absolutely scything through this lot. Fred Vesti is on a mad one. Going to winters was good, but we're now about to go back to wets. But our wets will be much better conditioned than everybody else's. But so Magnuson had made a massive gap. And uh, yeah, that's slowed us all down. Why do we keep getting the heli shots? Look at the, the extra grip that we have. It's just ridiculous. It's a nice move. Baruti now ahead of Joe and Bottas. Track now wet. So let's bring both of our drivers in for relatively fresh wets. Right, Magnussen has just pitted and put on inters. Let's see if anybody else follows him. It's just it's going to get wetter again in a few few laps time. So putting on inters now probably isn't the play. I think we stick out on the the. I was going to say softs, they're wet. Stick it out on the wet, and then we will hopefully be able to buy back the pit stop we lost against uh, uh, some of our competitors. Baruti's going nicely, he's in 20th position. He's 10 seconds, nearly 11 seconds clear of Joe. Vesti's 10 seconds clear of Gasly. The chat are calling for fuel gate, they might just get it. Magnussen was the only one to go to Inters. And he's closing in a bit, I think. We've got a yellow flag. Oh, Fred. Dude. And now he's wrecked his tyres. The tyres are genuinely, like, being destroyed at the moment. We're going to need to put on those wets. Uh, do you know what? Oh, we've just missed the boat with Fred there. Let's make a stop for a fresh set of wets. Baruti will be able to get in this lap. That's good news for him. Magnussen's in. So the track will start getting much wetter and we'll be all right. It's going to be very interesting towards the end of the race. We've got mechanical faults. Baruti's got a mechanical fault. Minor ERS. Don't worry about it. So, I'm optimistic. We might be able to snatch a point or two if everybody else has problems. Vesti has not crashed yet. He's had a couple of lockups, but he's okay. He's actually sizing up a pass here on Pierre Gasly. Let's harvest the battery. So we can deploy next time around. Right, let's deploy. But we're not close enough. That is frustrating. Look at that. I mean, we. Oh, hang on, hang on. We have just reached the part where it's inters, but then it's going to go back up again to being wet. Oh. What do you think, chat? Do we do we pit here? Because we're going to get. 10 laps, 15 laps maybe, maybe, of Inters running, very quickly, yes or no, for stopping now, Ben's going yes, get some time on the Inters, Jamat says box, 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 Inters, Inters is the call, give the people what they want, they want intermediates, we're giving them Intermediates. Here we go then, everybody. 
track now damp. Uh, Sergeant has boxed. What did he put on? Inters. And almost got a, a Red Bull in his backside. All right, so it's definitely Inters time because the, the AI is doing it. Oh, oh we're fighting we're fighting Gasly. And there's there's a V-carb in the way. We're back in front. Look, <laughs> the car that's lapped us has just given us a position. <laughs> Amazing. Just need to hang on to it. Tires are getting a bit hot. It's okay, they'll make it to the end from here. Who is that? That is Ricardo that's in front of us. Come on, keep Gasly behind. We love Pierre Gasly on this channel. He's a world champion with us. But right now he is uh, he's an enemy because he's driving an Alpine. Yellow flags. Gasly down the inside. Joe has crashed at turn five. Doesn't matter. We are just trailing Ricardo, and hopefully he hopefully he can take us to uh, Ocon, who did a 34-4 last time round on his absolutely battered wet tyres. Russell, Leclerc, Verstappen, all likely. Leclerc gets a puncture for the second time in this race as we're speaking. Bro, what are Ferrari doing? What are Ferrari doing? I think we're genuinely faster than the, the V-carb. Yeah, we're going down the inside. Oh, he's on wets, that's why. Quick, get away, pull away. We need to get away so he does, we don't get blue flagged. Ocon has got 17% tyres left. If he doesn't get a puncture, I'm going to be absolutely furious. Honestly... They said they'd increase the puncture rate. I'm not seeing it. We've seen three punctures. But all of this lot, below 30%, should be getting punctures. Specifically, Esteban Ocon. Carlos Sainz has got a puncture. Russell's got a mechanical fault. Ocon has got barely any tyres and a mechanical fault. We've got this lap and one more in which to catch him. But it's not... Well, we're 15 seconds behind him. We've had to probably give up some space to some leaders, I'd think. How is he going to get to the end with 15% tyres? Science is just carrying on with a puncture. He's YOLOing it. <laughs> How much of a gap has he got to stroll? He's got a lap, so it doesn't matter. Right. We need to attack, we need to push with the fuel, and we'll deploy. Let's see if we can catch. Okay. We're 16 seconds behind. How did we go... Oh, because we're on inters. Yeah. As Verstappen wins the race. Give me an Esteban Ocon puncture, please. Where is he? He's in the middle sector. How is this guy going to get to the flag? Genuinely going to be furious. He's got to the flag. I'm absolutely furious. Oh, come on. All we wanted was a puncture. Was that too much to ask? Uh, oh, I thought we were giving... We were, I thought we were running out of fuel. We've, we've just given up the place there. 15th, though, is our best finish. So uh, claps and sharks, please, in the chat and in the comments for our best performance yet. I'll say that's a job well done. We did a good job. We might have dropped two places from where we started with both drivers, but actually we beat the drivers we should have beaten, except Arcon. We really, really should have beaten him, but them's the brakes. Disappointing to miss out on beating both Alpines, but you know, 15th and 17th, we're definitely moving in the right direction. And it was an exciting race to be a part of because there was always that possibility of other people having problems. I'm not sure quite how they managed to get through it on just two sets of wet tyres. But, you know, we move forward, we learn from this experience and we'll be better in the next wet race, I'm sure. If you enjoyed this video, leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Subscribe for more F1 Manager content and I'll see you next time. You're the best fans. Bye for now.